Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Sarah Hoover, and I'm the Metadata and Scholarly Publishing Librarian at the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. Today, we'll be talking briefly about archiving your scholarship in an institutional repository, also known as an IR. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CC BY NCSA Creative Commons license, although some of the resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. So what is an institutional repository? An institutional repository, or IR, is basically just a database for archiving copies or links to research and scholarship by students, faculty, and staff at a specific institution. In other words, it's just a website capturing institutional research, and many universities have at least one institutional repository. A repository can include links or full-text copies to a wide variety of resources such as journal articles, conference posters, capstone projects, news articles, podcasts, grade literature, and more. GW has an institutional repository designated specifically for faculty, students, and staff at the School of Medicine and Health Sciences, the Milken Institute School of Public Health, and the School of Nursing. The repository known as Health Sciences Research Commons, or HSRC, utilizes the Digital Commons platform and features items in over 100 collections. Last year, full-text items from the collections were downloaded nearly 150,000 times. There are a number of advantages to archiving your research in an IR. First, it provides you with a permanent URL, which can be particularly useful for students looking to include scholarship on a resume or CV. Next, our repository is indexed by major search engines such as Google Scholar, and therefore content is easily findable. Archiving also provides access to metric systems such as PlumX and Altmetrics, so you can see information about things like download counts and social media mentions. Lastly, Archiving can also provide information on readership from around the globe. Let's take a look. You can access Health Sciences Research Commons in two ways. From the library homepage, simply click on Health Sciences Research Commons under Popular Resources. Alternatively, you can simply go to the URL hsrc.himmelfarb.gwu.edu for access. From the repository homepage, you have the option to browse scholarship from a number of different categories. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see how content in the repository has been utilized. As you can see, Items in the collection have been downloaded over 140,000 times in the last year by users around the globe. To browse items in our repository, you can explore popular collections on the home page under Browse Research and Scholarship. Or you can click on Collections under Browse in the left-hand navigation for a full list of collections. On our collections page, you will have access to both subject and department specific collections. Our GW COVID-19 Publications Collection and our Health Sciences Education Research Collection allow you to look at research in specific areas from across departments. Alternatively, if you're interested in department specific publications in peer reviewed journals, you can click on our faculty publications collections, such as our anesthesiology and critical care medicine faculty publications collection. Items included in each faculty publications collection allow you to link out to full text via library resources. The link to the full text is this blue button on the right hand side of the article. If you are a faculty member in the School of Medicine and Health Sciences at GW, click on the View Publications link on your faculty webpage to see the publications we currently have included for you in the IR. 
If you see duplicate entries, simply click on your department under the publication header in the left-hand navigation. Items included in all collections have the advantage of providing information on usage metrics. For full text items, you're able to see information about download counts, social media mentions, and more. For citation-only articles, you have access to a range of traditional and alternative metrics as seen in this entry. In addition to linking to full text, we are also able to archive PDFs for open access content. Conference posters and student capstone projects are often good candidates for full text archiving. In our Doctor of Nursing Practice Projects collection, for example, we archive capstone projects from our DNP program. If you want to archive full text, chances are that you have questions about copyright. If so, see our author FAQ link or email us at hsrc at gwu.edu. Do you have something that you're looking to archive? Simply email a link or PDF to hsrc at gwu.edu and we can evaluate the feasibility of archiving full text. Alternatively, submit the work using the Submit Research link. Click on Submit Research and select the appropriate collection. Accept the terms of agreement and complete the appropriate metadata fields. For many journal articles, you can even import most information from the PubMed identification number. Once again, if you have any question about rights, please don't hesitate to reach out to hsrc at gwu.edu. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Archiving Scholarship in an Institutional Repository. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to access the presentation slides, please visit our video library. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at shoover at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.